Hey guys, Bugs Education here and welcome back to the Unreal Engine 4 Beginner Tutorial Series. And in today's episode, we're going to be showing you how you can uh, import sounds into your matinee sequences inside of Unreal Engine. So today we're going to be going over how you can chuck in some background music. And then we're also going to show you how to time in uh, some fire and some explosions, which pretty much match up with some particle effects. So if I go ahead and press play, you're going to see exactly what I'm talking about. So you can hear the background music here as I start the matinee sequence and then you also see the explosion there followed by fire and then we got sounds attached to those and uh, all timed perfectly and that's pretty much what we're going to be doing um, adding these sounds is going to add a whole level of immersion to the scene makes it a hell of a lot more dynamic more realistic um, but without further ado let's just go ahead and get started so first things first I'm going to go ahead and open up the matinee sequence so you can see exactly how I've managed to do this and exactly what we're going to be learning today so you can see that I've got my particle effect uh, groups down here and I've also got a new group for sound Sound. and I've got two soundtracks on here. The first one is for particle effects and that's going to be my explosion and my fire and then the second one I just have the starter music cue um, it's just basically a piece of background music that comes with Unreal Engine and I pretty much just chucked that in there as background music so if you take a quick look at my explosion cue you can see that is timed perfectly with my explosion particle effect and the same goes for fire I've also timed that up so it comes on at exactly the right time so let me just close that up press play and just show you that one more time exactly how that looks so you're gonna see the explosion now sound comes on perfectly followed by the fire particle effect just a few seconds after uh, when the particle for the fire actually comes on so let's just go ahead and uh, open up my matinee now and I'm gonna show you how to create these soundtracks and actually get these sounds in here so first things first I'm gonna delete all of my soundtracks here so we have a fresh base pretty much exactly where we left off in the previous episode uh, so let's get started so first things first when you're working with sound you're gonna want to make a new empty group and just go ahead and right click over here and just add new empty group and I'm gonna call this sound for now doesn't matter what you call it just chuck it in there and once we've done that we can actually create our sound groups now let's just go ahead and start off with a soundtrack for the uh, the explosion and the fire so I'm just gonna add a new soundtrack and boom that is it we've got a soundtrack but we don't have any sounds on here so let's just go ahead and find the sounds that we're actually going to be working with so if I go over to my content browser now go to content and I'm just gonna type in explosion that's the first one that I'm gonna need so explosion and here we are explosion underscore Q, uh, underscore Q please make sure you use the sound cues and not the sound waves in here trust me just do it um, but once you've done that what we can do is we can just go ahead and click on the timeline here press enter and it will create the new keyframe for the explosion and you can see this keyframe uh, has a little bit of a green box and that pretty much shows us the length how long it's going to go on for now keep in mind you can actually overlap these sound effects so don't worry about them going on too long too much um, it's just the initial sound that you're uh, looking out for if you do go ahead and press play you can see the exact length um, but the most important bit is you've now got this keyframe and we can move this around just like all the rest of the keyframes we've worked with so I need to find where my explosion particle effect actually starts and that is just about over here so what I need to do now is grab my sound click the little keyframe press control and then just click and drag it into position just like that so now we've done that if I go ahead and close my matinee press play and now as the explosion goes off we should be able to hear our sound just like that that is perfect that is just how simple it really is to add in sound effects so let's go ahead and do the same thing for the fire now so I'm gonna open up my matinee again and this time in the content browser I'm just gonna type in fire and then I'm gonna find the sound cue for that uh, fire01 underscore Q all of this is uh, starter content just want to mention that and this time you can see the fire starts here so instead of uh, dragging it all along I'm just gonna press enter exactly here and it should it should hopefully 
just put it in the right place for us. So there we go, fire underscore Q. You can see this fire isn't uh, set up to, it's set to loop for some reason. Don't worry about that, that's perfectly fine. Um, but yeah, uh, now we've got that, it's in place, it's perfect. So let's just go ahead and press play and we'll see that the fire should come on at about the right time. Sorry, so close that out, press play, wait for the explosion to go off and then the fire. And there you go, you saw we have the explosion, and then a couple of seconds later the fire particle effect comes on and so does the sound. Now let's just go ahead and add in a new track into our matinee and we're just going to chuck our background music into the matinee uh, just like it should. So let's go ahead and do that. So scroll down in the matinee, go all the way down to the sound and then just right click add new soundtrack. And then on here, once again, we just find the music, find the sound cue, whatever it is, and then we just add the new keyframe. So I'm going to find that by just typing in music in the content browser, and you'll find start underscore music underscore cue. I'm going to press enter, and we're going to chuck it in at the very start, just like that. Now, if I press play, you should be able to hear it from the very beginning. And there we have it, we have our nice little animation here. We've got the background music going on, we've got the fire particle effects, we've got the uh, explosion particle effects. There is so much you can do with matinee. Add in sounds, create your own animations, do whatever you want to. Just experiment with it really. But that is pretty much everything I wanted to go over in today's episode. So thanks for watching, comment, like and subscribe and I will see you next time. Goodbye.